welcome back to my kitchen you guys thanksgiving is on its way we're in the month of october so it will be here before you know it now i currently have a thanksgiving holiday playlist that's out here on my channel and right now i have about eight videos in that playlist i have received requests for yams and dressing which i did not include in last year's videos so that's what i'm working on now we currently have the candy yams in the oven so now we're going to move on to our dressing now i love a moist dressing my family and i that's just what we're used to eating so i know some of you may be i don't want to say dry dressing kind of people but I consider a dry dressing when you can cut it in squares I know a lot of people when they do dressing they bake it and they cut it in squares we prefer a moist dressing so that's what I'm going to do today and right here I have some homemade cornbread that is day old and I also dried it out even more inside the oven once again I'm trying to give you guys measurements because I'm not used to measuring but I'm gonna do my best and make sure I put the ingredients and the measurements inside or down in the, the description box below so here we have four cups of cornbread and then I also have some herb season classic stuffing and I opened it up and measured it out to make sure I had the exact measurements and it's about six cups so we're going to have 10 cups in all of our um, dry mix now to that the foundation of our stuffing is going to be our chicken stock and this is some chicken stock from where I parboil some chicken and it's already been seasoned and I just unthawed it and I'm getting ready to put it in this pot so we can start heating up as I am running my mouth. Okay? I'm also going to season some more with some Better Than Bouillon. This is roasted chicken base. You guys, I love this stuff. I love it. And then I also have a roasted garlic base that we're going to add to it as well. Then we have some poultry seasoning. And it already has some sage and some thyme and onion in it. But I'm going to add more ground sage. Then I have two sticks of butter here. Well, no, I'm sorry. It's, it's two half sticks, but it's one stick of butter. And I'm going to go on and add it to my pan because I need it to start melting. Now also, here we have, trying to hold this so, I won't, so it won't end up in the floor, carrots, diced celery, onions, a little bit of red bell pepper, and then we have green bell pepper. Now I like a little more onion than I do everything else. So I have about a cup and a half of onions and maybe about a cup of everything else except the red bell pepper. That's probably about a half cup. So now that this butter has started melting, once it's totally melted, we're going to add these vegetables so we can get them sauteed. You guys, this is such an easy, simple recipe. But again, you need to make sure that that broth is to your desired taste. Any type of seasonings or spices that you need to add. And it needs to be kind of strong if that makes sense because you're going to add it to all of this bread and it's going to kind of soak up you know it's going to soak up the um broth but then the flavor won't be as strong if you don't have it strong enough when you make your broth how oh, that makes sense y'all know what i mean you can't have no bland broth if you do your stuffing gonna be bland how about that and i don't mean to say stuffing because we're not stuffing the turkey with this we're getting ready to eat this so it is dressing so I'm going on and adding my vegetables to my pan. And I'll bring you guys down here in just a few minutes so you can see everything that I'm doing, okay?
Now I'm going to cover these vegetables and let them simmer because honey, I need them done. We do not want no crunchy vegetables in our stuffing. And I'm also going to add a little bit more stock to my pan or to my pot. I don't know if that two cups is going to be enough. But if I don't use it, then I can um, set it aside for Thanksgiving, you guys. So I'd rather have more than enough than not enough. Because again, we like our dressing, our dressing moist. And by moist, I mean I like it the consistency of maybe just a little bit firmer than mashed potatoes. We like to, you know, scoop our um, our dressing out. Okay. So now that this is getting warm. I need to taste it to see exactly what I need to add to it because again this is going to be very important in how your dressing will taste. You guys, I'm going to switch out pans. I think I may need a little bit more room once I start adding the bread. So we're going to start with this better than bouillon and it's the roasted garlic base and rather than using garlic I'm just gonna put a little bit of this and maybe about a teaspoon in there we have some poultry seasoning I'm gonna sprinkle maybe about a teaspoon y'all we just gonna season until it tastes like Thanksgiving okay here's my sage we're gonna add a little bit Again, once it tastes like Thanksgiving, we know we're ready. And this is salt. We're going to add about a, maybe about a teaspoon of it. And you guys, that's, that's what you do. You just kind of, you season it and taste it. And once it tastes good to you, then, you know, hey, you cook it with Crisco. But don't overdo it. That's why I say start with about a teaspoon of your seasonings if there's something that um, I've not added that you feel like you want to taste in your dressing by all means add it that's the wonderful thing about cooking everybody's taste buds are different even your family you guys you know everybody knows what they like especially if you're used to family traditions and and recipes that your grandmas and your mamas and your aunties made so season it the way your family likes it. This is just, just kind of giving you a basis, um, kind of a foundation of how to start, okay? All right. Now that's boiling back there. We're going to turn it down. Um, I pretty much turned it off. I'm going to add some of this roasted chicken too to my um, to my stock back there, okay? That was about a, about a teaspoonful. Be careful with the better than bouillon too because it can be salty. Okay. Let's see if we taste anything like Thanksgiving yet. Let's see. Alright. I want some more poultry season seasoning. And I want some more sage. I tell y'all, we are on our way to Thanksgiving. You hear me? Mm, that's good right there. And just continue to mix. Okay, now that that's seasoned good enough, I'm going to add some broth. Now, I did add more broth to this. So, right here, this is four cups of broth. Again, you'd rather have more than enough than not enough. So that's at least about two cups or more of the broth. And now that that's added, we're going to taste this again to see what we're tasting like. Okay. 
I think we're good for now. So now we're going to add all of our cornbread. You going to eat your cornbread. <laughs> Y'all remember that movie. What's that movie? You going to eat your cornbread. Okay, now we're going to add the pepperidge form. That's why I had to get this bigger pan. Because that little one wasn't going to do it. Oh, and let me say this while I'm thinking about it. Suppose you got to this point. You see we need more liquid. If you got to this point and you feel like it's a little too salty, instead of adding more broth, just add some water. Okay? That makes sense to you guys. There's no no need in adding more broth that's salty if you feel like it's too salty at this point. That's why I tell you, be careful when you add your seasonings. Add a little bit at a time. Start with a teaspoon of everything. And then if you feel like you need to add more, then you do it gradually. Now I've continued to stir this and it has soaked up all of that broth. At this point, I need more liquid, but I don't want to add any more of the broth. I think it's salty enough. So I'm, I just put some water on, and once that gets hot, we're going to add a little water to it because I don't need any more salt, okay? And so at this point, I'm just kind of moving it around. I don't want to stir it too much. It's already well incorporated, well mixed. I don't want it to be like total mush, okay? And I just sprinkled a little bit of pepper on top, and that's it. Homemade stove top dressing. So you guys, I hope that was helpful to someone. Like I said, since I don't measure, it can be very challenging trying to give you guys measurements to make it taste exactly like mine does. But you have a foundation and you can just start there. Just remember to gradually add those seasoning start with a teaspoon and then if you need more just add a little bit more gradually don't just start dumping a tablespoon of this and a tablespoon of that because if it's too uh, seasoned then you can't take it out okay and I started to do a separate video for those of you who like to cut your dressing but I don't really think it's necessary if I were to do that the only thing I would change about this recipe is to get it a lot more loose. Say for instance, if you held it up, it'll kind of slide from side to side. You see this didn't move. Okay? So I think if you wanted to, if I wanted to um, bake this, I would make it looser to whereas when I moved it, you know, it would kind of it would kind of slide. And then I would probably add about three eggs to it, you know, as I'm mixing it up, and then just put it in the oven to bake it um, on 350 for maybe about, I don't know maybe about 30 minutes or so. So if you want to tweak this to make it to where you can bake it and cut it, it's definitely possible, okay? Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you all for watching. Um, again, I'm gonna add this to my 2020 Thanksgiving playlist so it will be updated to Thanksgiving 2020, 2021, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching. I already look forward to you. And for those of you who are looking for dude number one, AKA my husband, he's at work. So that's why he's not in this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I already look forward to you joining me again next time. Bye.